good evening my dear youtube viewers today also we will study the schedule technique the subheading is what the questions are going to be included in schedule example one after another we will discuss simple and clear questions the questions included in the schedule must be simple and clear that is they must be easily intelligible second suitable to the respondents intelligence level even your most complex and circuitous questions may be grasped in a second by some individuals and on the other hand most simple questions may appear humdrum to someone therefore it is impossible to determine the intelligibility of questions in abstract this is why the preliminary test is a so crucial in the formulations of the or preparation of the schedule relevant relevance is a high watermark of the what and suitability of any question the questions of the schedule must strictly be related to problem in hand indirect questions fourth one there are certain matters in which it is in advisable to ask a direct question because it causes embarrassment whereas the desired information can be easily elicited by putting an indirect question example instead of asking the name of the political party for whom you are going to give your vote we may ask in this way which political party do you think has most dedicated to the leadership or which is political party he has done the more services to the community in a such a, in such a way we can also draw the the real intention of the respondent to give his vote to the particular political party next serial order the questions pertaining to a single item should not be scattered all over the schedule next classific classifiability the questions included in a schedule must be divisible in certain sets of classes it should not have questions which are completely unrelated <coughs> sorry verifiable questions the questions in schedule should be such can be easily verified next impersonal questions from the fact that the un that the questions of intimate nature probing the personal lives of the respondents that are unsuitable for the schedule it follows that the questions included in the schedule should be impersonal in character next an ambiguous questions the schedule should have only those questions which can be interpreted in one way alone and have no ambiguous or doubtfulness ex doubtful expressions in them next an answerable in few words one should not include in the schedule the questions which can be answered in a long essays alone that is more long sentences type of questions so you should not ask them the time at the interview disposal uh, that is the during the conversation is limited and so is the space in which the answers are to be entered so if the questions are very simple they can answer immediately or else if the question is a very elongated so that respondent got the some problem to understand and digest and re respond in a simple way <coughs> this will reveal background of the opinion therefore as far as the possible the only questions which can be answered in a few words should be included so better always give the simple and direct questions we can easily get the information next questions regarding causes of sentiments the questions related to sentiments 
and opinions of the respondent should be supplemented <laughs> sorry by questions enquiring into the causes of this this will reveal background of the opinions ideas sentiments of the respondents from the foregoing discussion regarding the fitness of the questions to be included in the schedule that should be like this one fact which emerges clearly is that the form and the style of the questions play a great role in making the questions intelligible not only the sentence form and the way of style that we are asking also taken into consideration along with that the language of the questions must be simple and adorned the use of metaphor that is exaggeration the readers this is also meaningless and other adoration as if we are only dedicated for that to in order to get the information from them should be strictly avoided as this may no doubt make the language beautiful the meaning is surely wielded by this embellishment so if you are unnecessarily exaggerated way if you ask the questions the language command that beauty unnecessarily matters if you add it for the question it never gives the expected results as per style circum location ten- tenses and fluidity should be ensured that is decline the the real meaning the literary embellishments are out of place in the scientific language because the function of literature is to wield the real meaning and the function of the science is to make the meaning of transparent what is the important key point here between two individuals conversation that is the in research worker and the respondent we went there in order to get the facts not to express our own language power so keep it in mind one should prepare the questions moreover the technical an unfamiliar expression should be assured that is declared decline as far as possible that is try to avoid it the relative expressions like little more some almost all often tend to confuse the meaning and therefore these should be replaced by the definite expressions don't give the more or less meaning words like that instead of the little it is better you ask them nothing or something something is also percentage 10% 20% 30% like that if you ask them they will give the the specific point or else it may be give them confuse so once again we will recap the information so what the question should be included in the schedule the question should be like this simple and clear questions the questions included in the schedule must be simple and clear and the lucid that they must be easily intelligible suitable to response intelligence level keep it the mind keep the points the respondents capacity we should prepare the questions even your most complex and circuitous questions may be grasped in a second by some individuals and on another hand most simple questions may appear humdrum to some so for literate clever persons intelligent persons they may catch it but illiterate if it is a complicated question even the illiterate people they cannot understand therefore it is impossible to determine the intelligibility of the question which is in abstract form this is why the preliminary test is so crucial in the formulation of the schedule why we want the preliminary test the first visit will give the minimum knowledge whether they were all people are highly literates or literates or illiterates clever or able to understand so all this basic knowledge we can understand the general visit that is the tested dose or preliminary test next relevant relevance is a high water mark of the worth and the worthy and suitability of a co- any question the questions of the schedule must be strictly be related to the problem in hand whatever the questions you like don't ask 
or whatever the questions you are interested don't ask which questions are reliable to the topic only such type of questions you should prepare and ask them indirect questions there are certain matters in which it is in advisable to ask a direct question because it causes the embarrassment whereas the desired information can be easily elicited and putting an indirect question so the real intention of the research worker is to trace out the fact either in direct or indirect way if the people feels more shy so you can ask them in a indirect pattern for example instead of asking the name of the political party to whom you are going to assign your vote nobody wants to say instead of that one should ask in this way so which political party has done the more services for the betterment of the society by that you can easily understand they will express any one of the political party's name so next social order the questions pertaining to a single item should not be scattered all over the schedule next classifiability the questions included in a schedule must be divisible in certain sets of classes it should not have questions which are completely unrelated all questions should be either directly indirectly 10% or 50% it should be related to the topic next verifiable questions the questions in the schedule in schedule should be such as an a verifiable pattern impersonal questions from the fact that the questions of intimate nature probing the personal lives of an respondents which are unsuitable for the schedule which follows that the questions included in the schedule should be impersonal by its character and ambiguous questions the schedule should have only those questions which can be interrupted in one way alone and have no ambiguous or doubtful expression in them answerable in few words one should not include the schedule the questions which can be answered in a long essays alone the question should be simple and direct and with minimum words we should expect the answer from the respondent keep it all the points into consideration you should prepare the questions or else it takes lot of time this time the time at the interviews disposal during the conversation is it is confined to the limited amount of time so in the, so is the space in which the answers are to be entered so within a specific interval time we should complete the questionnaire or questions to the asking the questions to the respondent therefore as far as possible only those questions which can be answered in few words should be only included next the second category questions regarding causes of sentiments some questions should be goes with the sentiments at that time the respondent if he is the socially moving person he can answer if it is a traditional bounded he may not answer if it touches it the sentiments come on starts the questions related to the sentiments and opinion of the respondent should be supplemented by the questions inquiring into the causes of this this will reveal the background of the opinion ideas and sentiments of the respondents from the foregoing this discussion the fitness of the questions to be included in the schedule are like this one fact which emerges clearly is that form and the style of the questions play a great role making the question intelligent well so language and the style of the questions should be taken into consideration to prepare the question that speaks the intelligence of the research design who makes the research design that is the preparation of schedule the language of the questions must be simple and and adorned the use of metaphor retes and adornments should be strictly avoided as this may be no doubt make the language beautifulness the meaning is surely veiled by this embellishment if you are giving the color using the bombardment or the rich words at the good command in english or sometimes the unnecessarily comparison such type of things always divert the real facts 
as per style and circumlocution tenses and fluidity should be assured that is declines the real meaning or divert the real meaning the literary embellishments are out of place in the scientific language because the function of the literature is to veil the real meaning and the function of the science is to make the meaning is always transparent so whatever the research worker is asking that it should be easily understand by the respondent if he cannot understand he will give the unconnected information so the technical and unfamiliar expression should be assured as far as possible the relative expressions sometimes when the question is should not be like that more or sometimes or on and off almost all often frequently such a type of confusing meaning based questions if you ask them they are getting confused instead of the numerical form you ask them maybe now you do not know or 10% i know i came to know 50% something like that if you give the clue they can give the answers according to our choice by this today's lecture is completed this is bindu taking leave from the youtube platform okay all these description is what type of answers which type in which form we should prepare all these things are included in the today's lecture okay good day and good night